What's new in Lineage X 1.1 ROM running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Lineage X ROM version 1.1 running on the Poco F1. As you can see, the security patch is from June 5th, 2020. And the kernel they are using is Perf Dirty with a build of June of 23rd, 2020. Next up, the first major change you will find is that they have added IR Face Unlock. So you can go into Settings, Security, and tap on Face Unlock, enter your PIN, and then tap on the next arrow. Do allow Face Unlock access to pictures and record video. And then you will get some information about face unlock feel free to pause and read we'll just click on next and bam there it is you can align your face and you can see that it is in black and white which means it is using the ir camera on the poco f1 now let me set up face unlock real quick and once you have set up face unlock you do have a toggle to bypass the lock screen i just prefer to keep it enabled and then tap on done and bam there it is face unlock was added successfully and it works absolutely fine it is super fast on the poco f1 a pro tip here is that in case the face unlock option crashes for you then all you need to do is switch over to the dark theme for initial setup of face unlock you can use the quick setting tile they have to switch over to dark theme and then you can set up your face unlock and once you've set up face unlock once you can use any theme you want this is just a temporary workaround in case the face unlock option crashes for you next up they have switched to asus implementation of long screenshot and bam here it is this is how the implementation from asus looks like previously they were using some other implementation but now they are using asus's implementation of long screenshot and while we are talking about screenshot the screenshot sound now works hand in hand with whatever your ringer mode is so right now my phone is set to ring when i receive a call or a message and if i take a screenshot you can hear that we had a sound of the screenshot what if i change my ringer mode so let's say i move over to vibrate only so now if i take a screenshot there will be no sound of the screenshot so this is a new change which they have implemented and this is despite the fact that we have screenshot sound enabled in the sound option next up they have added a new feature for the caffeine tile so if i press and hold the caffeine tile it is now set to infinity those of you who do not know what the caffeine tile is well the caffeine tile is not going to turn off the screen for whatever time i choose here so if i keep tapping the time will keep on increasing and eventually it reaches infinity however with the new feature just long press and it is going to reach the infinity time Next up, they have added a bunch of clocks. So if you go into styles and wallpapers and then tap on clock, all the clocks which you see after binary option, starting from divided lines have been added with this build. So you have divided lines, S funny, Orono, minimals box, minimals minimal. And yes, you have a lineage OS clock as well. And this is how all the clocks look like. Next up, if we go into settings and then you go into system status bar, a few options have been added. So the brightness slider option has been added for your quick settings and bam, here it is. This is the option which we are talking about on the top. And they have also fixed this toggle wherein if you disabled this toggle, the option of automatic brightness would still show up. Now it is not showing up. So this is a bug fix which has been added with Lineage X ROM version. 1.1 so those are all the visual changes for a complete change log feel free to read the pinned comment and next up we can check the open gl extensions so bam here it is you can see that the drivers are from 31120 and we can also open magisk manager so the build is not rooted out of the box however safety net also does not pass which means that in case you want to use your banking apps you will have to root your device and then use the option of magisk hide so that you can pass safety net and use your banking apps now in terms of gestures and smoothness i personally did not notice any lags or any jitters in the gestures or in the animations and there it is peeps 
those were the new features which were added with lineage x from version 1.1 based on android 10 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you